Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. On this edition, an asymmetric warfare group contractor is awarded the Medal of Valor. We have more on Earth Day 2014, plus a related Earth Day story from the Baltimore District of the Corps of Engineers. But first, in earlier shows this month, we highlighted the educational and awareness opportunities available during Sexual Assault and Awareness Month. This week, I spoke with the Garrison Sexual Assault Response Coordinator, Stacy Hale, about reporting an assault and about the challenges of reporting in a multi-service environment. She says the services all follow the same DOD directives and they all work closely together here at Fort Meade. We're not a joint base, but we are joint service. We work very closely together. So when the Navy has a case management group, uh, which is what the Army calls a sexual assault review board, we participate in theirs, they participate in ours, and we work cases together. Ultimately, our goal is the same, to ensure that a victim receives first-class advocacy services, regardless of their branch of service and regardless of who's providing that service. Ms. Hale emphasized that no matter what branch of service, everyone needs to speak up. The Department of Defense theme is live our values, step up, stop sexual assault. Nestled inside that is the Army's theme, which is speak up. A voice unheard is an Army defeated. We want people to speak up. 35% of our sexual assault cases start out as sexual harassment. It's behaviors in the workplace that are left unchecked. If people see something that just doesn't sit right with them, we want them to speak up. We want them to say something, knowing and, and understanding that it could be that simple act of speaking up that stops somebody from escalating to the point of sexual assault. For more information and reporting options, go to our homepage at www.ftme.army.mil and click on any of the sharp links. In a related story, next Wednesday, April 23rd, is International Denim Day. It started in 1999 in response to the Italian Supreme Court overturning a rape conviction by arguing that since genes are difficult to remove, the rapist must have received help from the victim. To honor Denim Day, garrison personnel are authorized to wear appropriate genes to work and to promote discussion of misconceptions that surround sexual violence. In other news, a member of Fort Meade's Asymmetric Warfare Group was awarded the Secretary of Defense Medal of Valor in ceremonies recently at the Pentagon. The AWG's Lieutenant Colonel Sinise Limbaca filed this report. The Department of Defense awarded an Army contractor with the Secretary of Defense Medal for Valor April 14th at the Pentagon Hall of Heroes. Mr. David Jensen, who served with the U.S. Army Asymmetric Warfare Group as an operational advisor, saved the lives of four soldiers from a burning aircraft due to a rocket attack while deployed to Afghanistan in September 2012. Looking back on the mission and events, I summarized my actions into two categories, situational awareness and vigilance. My situational awareness was built on years of training, combat experience, understanding the enemy, surviving previous indirect fire attacks, and understanding the Afghan and U.S. team. Vigilance was taking action and remaining switched on. When the CH-47 was hit, I knew we had a problem. I was almost sure we were hit by indirect fire and almost sure it was a rocket. But I just knew we had a problem. I was able to help, and I tried to fix the problem as best I could. From the Asymmetric Warfare Group Public Affairs Office, I'm Lieutenant Colonel Sinise Lombaca. In just a moment, a great Earth Day story from the Baltimore District of the Corps of Engineers and Ocean City Beaches. But first, a couple of quick reminders about Fort Meade's Earth Day celebration next week. As we've reported before, the celebration is on the 23rd from 10 to 2 at the Pavilion. You'll see a variety of exhibits, including some endangered species, how to make organic compost, solar energy displays, lots of children's activities, and much, much more. In a related story, the Baltimore District of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers explains how their efforts are helping restore the beaches at Ocean City, Maryland. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Baltimore District is hard at work making improvements to the Atlantic Coast of Maryland Shoreline Protection Project in Ocean City, Maryland. Every four years, the Corps conducts beach renourishment activities, which consist of placing nearly 800,000 cubic yards of sand to widen and reshape the beach profile, as well as restore dunes that may have faced erosion from storms, such as Superstorm Sandy. To re-nourish the beach, sand is dredged from the ocean bottom floor by a hopper dredge. Once the hopper is full, the dredge then hooks up to a series of pipes that pump the material over a mile to the beach for placement. To date, the Atlantic Coast of Maryland Shoreline Protection Project has served Ocean City well, preventing more than $700 million in damages. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.